it's a gel. This is my very first time eating Indonesian food. But for her, she ate it before because she was living in Brunei. So we're going to the restaurant right now. So apparently they've been here for 27 years and there is an Indonesian community around here. I didn't know that. Because like I actually wanted to meet some Indonesian people here so I can become friends with them to also know about the culture as well. the Mother's Day mukbang also talking about her life if you guys have been doing this it's because I'm live streaming while I'm filming so right now we are actually eating Indonesian food nasi bungkus tokorame fried rice and bakmi noodles which one are you going to eat first? <laughs> oh I think this one so I'm going to eat the bakmi noodles and me <laughs> I tried the nasi bungkus Oh, okay. This one has a cucumber, chicken, rice, vegetables. Mm. Really delicious. I love it. I feel like I ate the bakmi noodles before. Or maybe yeah. this tastes. I don't know. I don't know. It tastes familiar. Can you speak Indonesian, ma? Sidik, sidiket I'm a man. I think this is spicy. See the red sauce. And this one, what do you call this one? A curry? See, like a brown color. Masarap siya. Masarap ng Indonesian food. Tapos meron pa silang chips. Sabi nila, ito daw made of shrimp. Mm. Anyways, just to explain, when I dip this one mm. into this one, that's curry. It's spicy. Yeah, it's I like spicy. It. Tataba kain ito, masarap. <laughs> Let's mm -hmm. see the back me noodles. I like the chicken. <laughs> I wanna try the rice thing. Should I diet ko ngayon? So, and this one has a beef. My like beef siya. Mm. It's so curry. Is this is good. Oh, that's why they recommend. Oh, I love the tokurami fried rice. Babalik kami doon. Oh. <laughs> Kasi masarap eh. We're going back. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, all, all, all delicious. Oh. And we're living here in California. I born in the Philippines. I grew there in Malate, Manila. I work as a plant checker for fire alarm. Where did you give birth to me? And why did you give birth to me over there? I used to be a teacher in Brunei. Since we're working there, we cannot go home just to give birth. So we'll stay there. Also giving birth was um, covered by the government. So we don't need to pay anything. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we grabbed the opportunity. And then when did we move to California? We moved to California year 2002. Jonah was only four years old and my my youngest son was only one year old. Mm. How would you describe your life before having me using three words? <laughs> Not fully happy. Oh. If you have children, you will feel completeness. Mm. Fulfilled. Then how would you describe like your youth? I was so happy too. I have a lot of 
good friends. Yeah, I enjoy reading my book. We always going out. There's time for studying, for traveling, enjoyment. So we know how to uh, divide our time for good times and together in bad times. They're really my real friends, the one I had before. And right now too, it's hard to find a true friend. Mm -hmm. If you have a true friend, don't let go. So what are some good memories you have when you used to live in the Philippines? When I was really young, I was helping my mom to her business, the small restaurant, and I helped them to make a halo halo. I like the halo halo. Oh. And then I remember that time. There's a we have a foreigner customer. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe she, that was his first time to eat halo halo. Oh. Because remember, if halo halo. Before we eat, we, mi we mix it carefully first, very well. So when I prepared that halo-halo, so I put the ice on, on the top and all the mixtures, the, you know, the delicious ones, at the, I put at the bottom. When he, he eat, he eat first on the top, mm. oh, going down. So he, he, he didn't, I don't know if he tastes it good because he didn't mix it. So the top is not too sweet and then he, when he finish it uh, until at the bottom it's so sweet <laughs> yeah it's so funny how is it like living in brunei and how long have you lived there in brunei i think summation because i have three different jobs around seven years the latest is i've been a science teacher in a government school do you remember i brought you mm -hmm. i've been a in sales and programmer the second one i become a graphic designer oh, wow. and then operator oh yeah <laughs> so four autocad operator and then science teacher oh my god the longest one is science teacher mother she's the mother hi so <laughs> lahat papasukin ko basta lang kumita mabuhay lang ang mga anak ko oh, thank you mom do you want to share about me when I was a baby or kid? What do you Oh remember? my goodness. My daughter, Jonna, she's fun of singing the A Whole New World. Yeah, that one. And sometimes she used to stand on the table and then sing that one with the comb, pretend that it was a microphone Aww. and then with the action and she always sings but how come i'm better at dancing than singing uh, <laughs> i don't know it's a joke how would you describe me uh -huh. using three words three adjectives determine wait what wait what's the first one determine uh, <laughs> oh okay you would describe me as determined determine okay Strong oh, yes. and smart. Okay, but why? Why? why oh, well, I'm beautiful <laughs> and the best. your dream mm -hmm. and I'm sorry <laughs> too much emotional <laughs> so because strong mm -hmm. if there's a problem you face it mm -hmm. you don't you don't cry and then just do something silly to your life you go going to solve it and fight it for to solve your problem so for me to you though I would mm -hmm. call you hardworking oh Intelligent. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Teddy Makasi. <laughs> cute. So those three words. Hardworking, intelligent, cute. Cute? Yeah. Oh. Thank you. So hardworking because oh. you worked so hard for me in Japan. Thank you. 
then that's really really hard <laughs> it's, yeah it's yeah. hard to be a single parent is really hard i need to support three people myself my daughter and my son yeah yeah it's sweet and it's hard to budget mm -hmm. time financially i pay for this uh, oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. She's very, very smart. Like, when it comes to practical, logical stuff, it's her. Like, oh. she definitely has it. Oh, thank you. And she's good with math and science. Oh. But memorization? I'm not good in memorization. No, but she's, but she's very smart, though. She's very smart. And then, Practical thinking only. No, you're smart. Oh, thank you very much. Like, because <laughs> also for work, when she's at work, there are so many people, even if they have high degrees and they're higher than her in position, they go to her for advice. They go to her for work. They go to her for like a lot of things. And she's mm -hmm. asking, why are they coming to me? Yeah. <laughs> so Confusing. for other people to come up to her despite of what they have, it just shows that my mom really has really good work ethic. But <laughs> like, happy Mother's Day, don't go uh, someone saying happy birthday. Uh, happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> happy Mother's Day. And I'm going to go to the camera. I'm going to go to the living room. Sorry, guys. Tapos am going to go to the living room. Tita, are you mad? Mouth, wait. Mad is carte? Mad is carte? Oh! Yes, so, kailangan yeah. mabuhay, madiskarte. You have to do everything mm -hmm. just to survive. Mm -hmm. I did uh, buy and sell while I'm studying and working at night. Oh my so god, three yeah. before, She works four. hard again. Like, because <laughs> my dream, I want to buy a house for my parents, but I failed. No, you didn't. Like she worked really hard, you guys, especially going from the coming from the Philippines to here mm -hmm. and her being a single mother, that, that, that takes a lot. Like after growing mm -hmm. older, mm -hmm. I now understand my mom a lot more. So it's mm -hmm. hard. <laughs> yeah. And then the last but not least, I called you cute because you, you are cute and funny. Like you have some oh. movements. Oh, thank you. Even right now, I'm cute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cute. I'm cute. I'm cute. What were your thoughts when you first saw me as like a baby? Oh, I'm so very happy because you're the my first baby. My first experience, everything. Is that your honest thoughts? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's like being a woman she's full, was fulfilled already. Oh. Yeah, because I born a child. Mm. Mm. Oh, I remember that one. I became emotional again. <laughs> Wait, but how was I like as a baby? Makulit. Oh. When you say no, he, she, she used to do it again. No, again, she do it again. <laughs> and she will always make a mess because she's a small... Uh, I was very active. Yeah, hyper. <laughs> super hyper. Yeah, totally opposite of like what I am now. After living in America for 20 years, mm -hmm. What advice or message would you give yourself back then? Especially you're the head of the family, you have to be strong. Positive thinking. If you make a decision, you have to think many times, a hundred times before. What if she so, gave up on her own? Oh, she didn't. I didn't. I said, you know what, what makes me stronger? If you really love your children, you will do everything. You will become stronger. Umiyak din ako, but I need to be strong. Mm. Tao lang din ako. Mm. Oh. What advice would you give to people in their teens? Like 10 to until 19? Always appreciate what, what your parents give it to you. Show your love. Both you should show in action and by words that you love them. Family, you can find it also your family through your friends. Facts. What advice do you give for people from their 20s, 20 until 30? Never waste time. If you have chance, try to succeed your future on that young age. Mm. So that in, at young age, you will reach your, your dream. 
and you will enjoy it. And then for people from oh. 30 years old until 40. Try to make stable everything, like having a stable business. So that way when you get older, you have a existing business that will support you until you get. Last but not least, 40 to 50. 40 to 50? Mm -hmm. Why oh, you slice it too? <laughs> the same thing. If you have stable business, you continue it and then try to train your children because you will pass it to your children. See, her mindset is very logical and practical. We're mm. very different. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's for a good reason. My last question is, if we were the same age, uh -huh. how do you think it would be like if you were friends? Oh, I will admire you because you're good <laughs> in dancing and you entertain me. <laughs> <laughs> and you're smart too. You can teach me. Oh, we can teach each other. We can teach each other and share ideas. Oh. And we're going to be a good partner in business. Oh, that's true. That's true. Oh, you Partners in fun. <laughs> we didn't finish all the food, but we're going to obviously save it because mm -hmm. I do love it. I'm going to eat probably yeah. later too. So, also, I'll be back really quick. Oh, so, so, so just talk or, yeah. I mean, oh, I cannot read this. This one is so small. Hi, kamusta po kayo? Apa ka ba? Enjoy your day. Good morning, bajan. Good afternoon. Salamat sores. Salamat pagi. Na? Yes. What's this? Yes. Oh, I love you. Even without this one. Your I bought this! I bought this! this. Oh my goodness, you don't need it. As long as you're there beside me oh and God. love me. Oh. I'm one of your admirers uh. and fans. Thank you. See? She's so sweet. Ladies and gentlemen. I love shirts. Here, look, look, look. That's how it looks like. Adidas Adventure. You like it? Yes, of course! But don't, don't lie, you can be honest. Honest! Because my favorite is black, but this one is good. Mm -hmm. I love it. Because you're practical, you're practical. Yeah. Because the black is so beautiful when you're a kid, right? That's the secret. That's the end of our Indonesian oh. mukbang. Thank you very much. Terima kasih. Happy Mother's Day, guys! Bye! Bye! Bye. Bye.